In previous class of advanced Microsoft 365 class, we talked about how we can apply the policy and create a rule for our mailboxes. We also talked about the concept of mail flow because you know that if you want to be expert in Microsoft 365, definitely you should know about the each and every options which are available in our mail flow service. As it is, I'm moving ourselves to another topic because as we discussed before, in this series, in this playlist, I'll give you the unique content and those contents can help you to manage day-to-day -day activity for any client related to the mailing services. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor, and in today's session, I'm going to give you the details how we can set up our hybrid environment. Yes, I'm talking about the hybrid. As per the name suggests, it means that I'm planning to establish on-premises exchange and also buy some licenses over Office 365 portal and then, then we'll try to set up our mailboxes. Some mailboxes are belongs to on-premises exchange and some mailboxes will configure with the help of 365 license. So let me help you to understand about the prerequisite because we need to know about the base of hybrid and after that we'll give you the practical to install exchange server on our on-premises server machine and then we'll connect our on-premises exchange server with 365 portal. I'm moving myself to the screen and uh, give you the prerequisite, the information about the prerequisite. So let's move. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, please do subscribe. Because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video series without skip any step. So our agenda, our agenda to set up a hybrid environment, Microsoft 365, yes, Microsoft 365 hybrid setup. This is our agenda. And in case of setting up a hybrid environment, what are the prerequisites? We must need to keep in mind, this is our Office 365 portal, or you can consider it Microsoft 365 portal and on-premises, you know, on-premises we establish one domain controller. Yes, this is ADDS server, right? You can install the ADDS server on 2016, 2019, 2022. It's fully depend upon you. This is our ADDS server that uh, we establish on server 2016, okay? And now we are trying to establish hybrid setup. So you need to set up one more virtual machine or one more physical machine you need to establish in your on-premises. This is PC1, not PC1, server one, and this one is server two, okay? And in the server two, you must need to check the hardware configuration, must need to contain at least 32 gig of RAM or 64 gig of RAM based on the number of licenses, based on the number of mailboxes that you want to create on on-premises machine, okay? So by using a second server, we'll install Exchange. It's up to you, Exchange Server 2016 or 19. It's uh, fully depend upon you. But in our session, I'll give you the solution. I'll give you the steps how to install Windows Server Windows Exchange Server 2016 and uh, the, the installation process are equal to each other. And now the prerequisites are your second machine must be member of of ADDS means you must need to convert your second machine from work group to the domain controller must be a member of domain controller need to install dotnet yes dotnet framework 4.2 point something 4.7.21 and number third prerequisite before installing our exchange server you must need to take care this prerequisite like as a machine must be a member of domain controller. Second, need to install the .NET framework 4.7.2. Uh, uh, and third, runtime Microsoft Unified Runtime 
API. This is one of important point. And number fourth prerequisite, your second server must use AD user to log in second machine. Second machine in the sense I'm talking about the exchange server. These all are the prerequisites that we need to keep in mind before installing any kind of exchange server. These four different prerequisites. I'll show you the practical. And second important point, third important point, your ADDS server must be synchronized with Azure AD using Azure AD Connect tool. Now it's Microsoft Intra ID. So entire domain controller, our users must be synchronized with our Microsoft Intra ID. You can also consider it as your active directory because recently Microsoft changed the name of our uh, uh, Microsoft Azure ID. Now it become Microsoft Intra ID. Okay, fine. So now the same user, let's talk about the concept of hybrid environment. For example, in our ADDS server, you establish multiple users like as a AWS, you establish Tata, you establish a Telnet. These all users as you, these users you created on on-premises AD, right? You can consider it AD users, on-premises AD users. Same Active Directory users you successfully synchronized with our Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Intra ID means Azure AD, AWS, Tata, Telnet, and Azure. These users uh, users uh, 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 are also available on our Microsoft 365 portal. Now, think about the concept of hybrid environment because we are trying to set up a hybrid management. We are trying to understand about the concept of hybrid management. Now. If you want to set up a hybrid environment, same users you are able to access in our exchange server, you can find AWS, Tata, Telnet, and Azure. The entire users you will find in the member of our domain controller, I'm talking about the exchange server. Now, the meaning of hybrid, to AWS and Tata, you want to provide the license from 365 right from Microsoft 365 the mailboxes you want to assign with the help of licenses but to Telnet and Azure yes to Telnet and Azure you want to provide the mailboxes with the help of exchange server that you establish Two different users contain the license to manage the mailbox services. Two users which are available on on-premises. You want to set up the mailboxes with the help of exchange server that you establish. It means that you are using on-premises exchange server services and also you are using the same uh, 365 license at the same time. So it means that this is the total concept of our hybrid environment. I hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of hybrid environment. I'll give you in next session, I'll give you the proper practical, how to install exchange server, how to synchronize the user. We have already did in our Azure AD. We'll try to set up mailboxes with the help of 365 and we'll use the same Active Directory user to assign the mailboxes using on-premises exchange server. So let's connect in next session and discuss about the practical. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye. Please do subscribe your own YouTube channel, Teach Me Cloud. Take care guys. Bye-bye.